I'll tell you how to tell if a girl likes you today. The first thing she says is, well, guy, what women usually tell guys if they like them isn't the truth. I'm going to give you a few strategies, about three of them right now, that will help you know when you're wasting your time and when you're not. I've seen a lot of talks, and you guys are doing it wrong. Grab a pen and write this down, my brother's from another mother. The first thing you need to know is that there will be three types of women. When you're online dating and swiping, there will be women who are interested in you, women who aren't interested in you, and women who are neutral or passive. You can tell who the uninterested women are because they don't swipe back or respond to your messages. Like writing them twice or three times to ask if they got your last message. Then you get mad and go to MIG Tao in your leg. I don't understand what you guys are talking about. If a woman doesn't answer you, she doesn't answer you. Get over it and move on. You have women who don't care and women who do. You need to know that it's a loud place with a lot of pretty women. The women you like are getting a lot of attention from guys and they're getting a lot of messages. It's a totally different world, but you don't believe me. Find a pretty person. Female friend grab their phone and see what kind of messages they get. The frequency of messages, swiping matches, and all that other stuff is crazy. So I would focus my attention on the women who are interested. I stay away from passive people and ignore those who aren't interested in me. So how do you know if they're receptive? If you send them a message and they respond that they're interested, or if you say something on a swiping app and they respond that they're interested, you know they're interested. This is the first sign that a woman likes you. If a woman likes you, she'll give you her phone number. If she doesn't like you, she'll be more passive and give you a signal. Stories about stranger danger or I don't want to give my phone number out or I don't like to, or I'm not going to give my phone number to just anyone. After a few back and forth conversations, she moves from the receptive category to the passive category. If this happens, you're wasting your time. Stop trying to get women interested in you if they're naturally not interested or passive. Instead, move on to your interesting life. Let's exchange phone numbers and talk about getting a drink. This shows that you're interested and that you're in charge. If she says, I'd love that, and gives you her number, you've got a receptive woman. If she gives you an excuse or some story, she's moved to the passive category and you're wasting your time if you want to keep pursuing it. Keep it tasteful and don't make it too sexy and dirty. This will probably happen at some point, but keep it tasteful. Keep talking back and forth until you're ready to talk about getting a drink. Now, what you want to see is that they ask you questions. Again, women are spoiled for choice. They get a lot of attention from men. What you want to do is see that they're interested and they show that by asking you questions. You want her to show that she's interested in you and you'll know she is when she starts asking you questions about yourself. Like, do you have any siblings? What do you do for a living? And where do you like to go for fun? You don't say things like, hey, you seem like the kind of person who likes the outdoors. Instead, you say things like, you seem like the kind of person who likes the outdoors. When you draw a conclusion from what you see, it makes them more likely to talk to you and ask you questions. You might answer, why would you think that? Not a bad start, but also not a great one when they ask you questions about yourself, that's a good sign. If they text you out of the blue about something, that's also a good sign. At some point, you're going to want to meet them because otherwise you'll be doing this to you see texting back and forth. You have a chat buddy, but watch out for chat buddies. Some of them are lonely married fat women who find pictures of attractive younger girls to hide behind. This is called catfishing, and they'll pretend to be someone else. They have no intention of ever meeting you because it's not them, so you'll want to move on to the next step, which is let's grab a drink. I don't know, but the thing is that you want to meet them halfway. You're meeting them halfway because they have to make an effort beyond getting dressed up and leaving their house. Even if it's just going downstairs to the coffee shop, that takes some effort. If she has a lot of options and isn't that interested in you or is passive, she won't make that much of an effort to go out and meet you. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know a little bit about my story. I'm an entrepreneur in cars, but I also talk about dating because we're all about getting better. I was talking to this one woman, but I only had a few hours to meet her because it was the weekend and my daughter had a birthday party. I told her, I can meet you this weekend, but I've only got a short window. 
This makes you dominate the overall conversation and thus you can easily say that this way it would be easier for you to understand that the girl is interested in you.